Updating the Android SDK in your Unity game or app should be easy, right? It's just two fields. Well, then why did it take me the better part of two days to figure out how to fix it for my two games? When Unity is asking you to install versions of the SDK that don't exist, 36 and 41 in my case, you know something's wrong. I was able to fix this for my two games this week, and the updates for those games are up in the store with the correct versions. I want to show you the solution that I found for this so that you don't have to take the time. Let's get into Unity. I'll show you the simple workaround. And if you have a number of games or apps to update, I'll show you at the end of the video the unique scenario I found with my game Maze Changer. I don't think that scenario will happen very often, but just in case, I want to show you what I did for that one so that you don't have to worry. Let's get started. Okay, we're in Unity. I've got my game Touch Maze open, and we're wanting to update the Android SDK. Uh, Google is now requesting we have minimum of level 34. Should be a simple process, right? We go into here, build settings. We select the player settings. Uh, we can also get in here other ways through the menus. Uh, in this view, we want to go to other settings and scroll down just a little bit to where we have the Android settings. Right now, I've got API level 33 for both the minimum and the target API level fields. It should be as simple as changing this to 34, right? But of course, if you're watching this video wrong, when we turn this and close this and we hit build and run, we get a message. We require API level 36. Well, 36, I have selected 34, that's not right. And if you look at the, uh, the listings of what the API levels are available, 36 hasn't even been released yet. And what's worse, if we go and switch it to 35 and try again, it asks for API level 41. Something wrong here. So the simple solution to fix this is to open the file system and go to the, where your game files are, go into project settings, and there is a file called projectsettings.asset. We can open this in your favorite editor or in notepad, and we do a search for SDK level. And we can see right here, Android minimum SDK version, Android target SDK version. We want to change this to 34, hit save, close this, get back into Unity, do another build. And with that simple change, we get a build and the package that is produced that you can upload to the store is uh, targeting level 34. Okay, we have the APKs just deploying to my device. So clearly we had a successful build and are good to upload to the store. And when we upload to the store, it'll be the correct version targeting API levels 34. Now I need to show you what happened to my game Maze Changer. Um, this particular issue occurred. I don't think it's going to occur often, but if you have a number of games to update, you may want to just uh, pay attention in case you run into the issue. Let's open that project. Okay, we've got Maze Changer now open in Unity. Same thing, we try and look at the build settings, the player settings, the other settings section, scroll down. We see the same issue that we've got API level 33. Um, and if the same thing, we change to 34, we'll also get the same pop-up that says we uh, need level 36. Okay, well, that's perfect. That's exactly what I just showed. We go into the file structure for my game, go into project settings, just like I showed, find the project settings asset, open it up. Uh-oh. So this is the problem I found with Maze Changer. I have a feeling it's because it initiated in a much older version of Unity, but I have no proof of that. If you run into this, the update I needed to do was a little bit more involved. I went into the Touch Maze project settings and copied its version. And then went back to Maze Changer and pasted it in.
I then went in and used my favorite editor and found all of the locations in that file that had the project name for TouchMaze and switched it back to uh, Maze Changer. I also needed to ensure that the Android application identifier matched exactly. We then also just make sure that this is still a 34, although you're copying it from one that you've already done, it should be fine. Okay, when we've made that change, the one thing you also have to do inside Unity is to come back into the project settings and update the icons that you use for the store. They of course have been uh, eliminated by the copy paste over from the other game. This of course isn't an ideal solution. The ideal solution is all of this is handled in Unity itself, but this is the workaround that I found for both uh, the simple way and if you run into this very unusual encoding issue. We can go back in, do a build. <clears throat> And just like TouchMe's, this will build properly and deploy properly. And we're able to use the file generated to upload to the Play Store and have the correct, uh, correct API levels. And there we go, preparing APKs, and it'll then deploy to my phone just like the other one. Well, there you have it. I'm hoping that this workaround saves you a bunch of time. And if you did run into the same issue that I had with Maze Changer, that the workaround that I found will help you as well. Please subscribe. I'm going to post more tips, tricks, bug fixes that I find. And if you're interested in Unity tutorials, check this one out here or go to the channel. There's a few of them there and I'll keep posting more. Thanks very much. We'll chat soon.